Trump administration is looking to narrow the definition of gender in many of its agencies. A leaked memo says the administration may want to define a person's gender identity permanently at birth. But local LGBTQ rights groups are pushing back, saying this could be detrimental to an entire community. Local 22's Haley Boulay has their reaction. Fear, concern, and a loss of hope. Those were just some of the reactions from local advocacy groups after a drafted memo from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services was released in the New York Times saying, quote, the sex listed on a person's birth certificate as originally issued shall constitute definitive proof of a person's sex unless rebutted by reliable genetic evidence, meaning the identity given at birth, male or female, is unchangeable. At this point, nothing has been set in stone, but if adopted, it would remove Obama-era protections for many Americans who don't fit into societal gender norms. President Trump responded to the memos saying, They have a lot of different things happening with respect to transgender right now. You know that as well as I do, and we're looking at it very seriously. You know what I'm doing? I'm protecting everybody. I want to protect our country. Despite the memos only being a draft, many fear what this could lead to. As an organization, we don't know what this means yet. We're figuring this out, and it... It looks like researching, it looks like connecting with other organizations doing this work and trying to build community. Skylar Wolf, the director of Safe Space at Pride Center Vermont, worries about the impact erasing both trans and non-binary populations. Transgender people are disproportionately impacted by mental health. So we're talking about an increase in anxiety, depression, suicidal ideation, et cetera. And what people really need is hope right now. At Outright Vermont, focusing on LGBTQ youth, they want young people to know gender is both beautiful and complicated. Who you are is valid. We know that you exist. We see you, we support you, and we will continue fighting to make sure that Vermont is a safe and celebratory and vibrant place for every individual to live, regardless of your identity. And candidate for governor and transgender woman Christine Holquist had a very honest reaction to the memo. Haley Boulay, Local 22 News. We've also reached out to the Phil Scott re-election campaign for a response that they have not yet heard back. The article says there are an estimated 1.4 million individuals in the U.S. who identify as a gender that they were not given at birth.